So here's something you don't see every day. This is uh, the new fan setup from Carrier called the uh, Eco Blue on the um, weather makers. So instead of using a belt driven, or just a regular um, direct drive motor, they got this new fan set up here. Uh, it's an axial centrifugal fan here, a little jet engine. Um, but this guy isn't working. So easy way to kind of diagnose this is check your 24 volts. If you got it on the board here, check your power. Here's your plug. This is three phase, so you got three phase of power here, and then you have your DC volts going back to your board right here, which would come back right here in this plug. So I'll show you right now. I'll just check 24 volt. I check the high uh, three leg power, and then I'll show you that I'm not getting. You should be getting DC bolts back, and then I'll show you that I'm not getting that back. So that shows that this. Uh, ECM motor in here is bad. So let's, I'll show you that real quick in that way and then I'll take this out and then show how to disassemble it. This is the first time I've ever done this. Um, but it looks pretty simple. Looks like there's like a screw right here and a screw right here. You just gotta disconnect your high limit here, unplug your voltage power, of course. I don't know if there's any screws on the back, I'll look, but then this should just come right out as a whole assembly and put it down. I think there's just a couple screws on top. This like uh, shroud, I think, just clips in here on the side, right here. It's like this clip. Yeah, like that. Take this off, and it should be able to get it a piece. So let me show you the voltage just real quick, and then we'll go from there. All right. So I got 25.6 volts, and that is going off my G terminals on my board here. As you can see, I got the call for fan. Now I'll show you my high voltage side going to the motor here. Hoping this camera can position. So you can see three legs, tap right in here like that. And as you can see, I got 468. Now let's check this leg. is 468 so we got power like I said three phase power going to this now let's check our DC side which on here they have these terminals right here that you can connect to to set up your CFM it actually kind of shows you step by step how to do this Showed you how to set your CFM for this application or for whatever size uh, tonnage you got going on downstairs. Uh, like I said, this is totally adjustable and it shows you step by step for your external static pressure um, and how to set the potentiometer. So, check right here. And then I'm going to switch this over to DC. I'll check the input right here, indoor fan motor. And as you can see, come on, stupid. I ain't got nothing. You should have some, uh, at least up to 10 DC volts coming back. And I do not have nothing. So that's an easy way to show that this motor is bad. So let's go ahead and take that out. We'll go from there. Yeah, so easily just pulled it out. It just sits in these two little uh, lips right here. And then you just got two set screws that hold it down right here. Once you get those out, it just kind of slides over, pulls right out. So I believe, I see set screws up here this looks like a bracket so I think there's these little tabs right here just push it up Okay. Not a 
lift up. This is just on the garment for the power plug. I'm just gonna mark these. That way I just put it back exactly the same way. I uh, disassemble it. So I'll just mark it real quick. screws out quick this is 5 16 by the way slid right up so it looks like there's two pieces right here actually three one two three I'll hold them in place this bracket and then here's our motor this looks like it sits in this groove right here So I'm probably have to remove these four screws. Okay. Just want to make sure you put this back like that. Okay, so I just sliding this up. Here's our garment. Let's get this out of the way. Slide that up. And here's our motor. So I got the new one right here in the box. Take it out. It will compare. Put this one over. So let me get the new motor out. So I do notice on the new one, it doesn't come with this bottom. It's probably a heat shield plate. So you're gonna have to take this one off and put it onto the new one when you're swapping them. So we'll take it out, put it back on here. I'll put everything back, assemble. And we'll put it back into the unit. So you just reverse on how you disassemble it to reassemble it. So as you put this main shroud on, all right, said these line up right here. There's like a square notch, and it lines up in here. And then you'll see your holes for your your fasteners here. Once those are lined up, then you can fasten them down and then just put your garment back on there. And then this is pretty much back together and you just need to put that back on top. So I don't know why I marked earlier. You don't really need to mark it. The holes will line up, but I would recommend uh, just doing a quick pre-tap with one of the fasteners. That way when you get it on, it kind of goes in. I had a, when I had it on first, it didn't want to it didn't want to grab with the top fan on um, and then once you get these down don't go all the way with you if you're using an impact or a drill just um, go pretty much majority of the way and then with the rest tighten it by hand that way you don't end up stripping these out or because this is just plastic so you could ruin this um, and that's pro the proper way to do it just torque it by hand the rest of the way so we'll put this back in and fire it up and then we'll check our voltages so 
so I got the motor back in place. Once I got it back in, then I put the top of the, sh the shroud right here back on. It just pops in these tabs. I just kind of give it a little snug just to make sure it's not loose anywhere or it's going to come out. Then I make sure in the back that it's pushed in underneath those tabs. On the other side, you're going to have to use your hand to fill it. And then you just put one set uh, fastener back right here, one right here. Plug it back in, make sure your garment's on. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Make sure you'll be calling. Here we go. check our voltages real quick that way I can show you the DC bolts coming back so we're back right here checking our DC As you can see I got 10 volts DC just like we should that's an easy way to verify this guy's bad or not now this motor is uh, built in Germany, but you'd figure something from Germany would be pretty, you know, pretty good, last a while. This unit got installed late 2020, early 21. But it's not even that old and it's already bad. Uh, of course, anything made of out in Europe, it's gonna be somewhat expensive. I wanna say this motor is probably around thousand dollars or so. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you can see some of the model and serial on this guy. Right there, made in Germany. I actually have uh, 12 Aeon units. The condenser fans on those have something very similar to like this. So it's got this like plastic shroud axial fan setup. And it's got uh, DC signal ECM motors on them and they're made in Germany as well and I'm just curious on if the parts for that would be you know how available would it be compared to something from China you know I guess you could say but I guess we'll find out when the time comes to change those out but yeah now we're running it's a pretty easy way to troubleshoot diagnose that the motor's bad that literally took less than 10 minutes to take out and reinstall compared to the older setup and design, the belt driven, if you especially you gotta remove the squirrel cage and all that. This is a lot more easier and simpler. I and mean, yes, it's somewhat plastic, but this is the way uh, carrier's going with these. So, and like I said, you can also check your uh, CFM by checking your DC on here and setting your potentiometer. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all that because that's not what this video is about. But you can easily do that if you start figuring. It tells you literally like step by step how to do that. So, well yeah, that's it for this one. All right, see ya.